Hey guys, a quick follow up on this Volkswagen GTI overheat condition, the video I uploaded yesterday. And I'll make this a part two to that, and I'll call that one part one and kind of group these together for anybody watching this in the future. First of all, I want you to know the electrical checks that I showed for the cooling fan motors, that is good information. Uh, those can be followed for checking the, the circuitry with the fans. The bad information that I believe I presented in, in the first video is I, I never verified radiator temperature. You can't call a bad thermo switch in the radiator, the fan switch I'm talking about, you can't call a bad switch in the radiator without first confirming that the radiator is getting hot. And so with the comments from you guys yesterday about the impellers breaking off of this water pump, which I had no idea, I haven't seen one of those in 15 years, I felt that maybe some further tests needed to be done. So I called the garage today and I told uh, Pete at Latour's Auto, I said, hey man, listen, what you need to do is run this car, let's get it hot. Let's compare block temperature to radiator temperature. And this is what I should have done yesterday, and I didn't do it. And uh, sure enough, uh, the radiator was not getting hot. The block was getting very hot. Now, the thermostat was new. The radiator was flushed out, as I mentioned in, in the first one. Now, these were other shops that did that. Uh, we were pretty sure the water pump was never changed, or at least not any time recently. And uh, that's the direction we're going. Some good tips from you guys. Uh, I'll, I'll quote one of them was to check the uh, the overflow bottle or in this case it's maybe a coolant reservoir if you want to call it it's a sealed unit it's not like a a regular reservoir that's unpressurized so we check that reservoir you look at the small hose going into it there should be flow there and uh, we believe there should be flow there with it hot so maybe that's a visual you can use uh, I think another key one of course is going to be the temperature measurement and um, you know there's other reasons of course that the radiator can be cooler than the engine and, and, and that would be the one primary one would be if the thermostat is stuck closed so those those are things to consider too um, there are some other methods in verifying water pumps you know we can squeeze an upper radiator hose and we can rev the engine and and kind of feel for that flow one of the things we don't want to say, and this is a mistake I hear people say, is if there's pressure in the system, then the water pump's working. That is incorrect. If a system is sealed, then when you raise the, the temperature of the liquid, which you are in, in a cooling system, if you raise the temperature of that liquid in a sealed system, its pressure will rise because of expansion. So we don't want to use the pressure in the system as a guide for the water pump. Hope that makes sense. Um, so uh, I apologize for the, the misinformation, I think, in direction that this car needed this thermo switch. I should have done these checks. I did not. And uh, I want you guys to know it because the last thing I want to do is give you guys bad information. Uh, I think a lot of you understand how particular I am. And uh, I really feel bad about this one. But, uh, hey, this is, this is reality and, and we all are learning together. And I really, really appreciate you guys. I really do. You guys that are commenting on my videos, man, sharp bunch of people you guys are. And I really, really value uh, this sharing of information. And uh, I, I don't know. I just can't thank you enough. <clears throat> it's really cool to see the types of comments that I get on my channel compared to some of these other, uh, quote, automotive channels that are out there. Um, you guys are pretty sharp and keep me on my toes, so uh, I appreciate everything again, and uh, uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys can for forgive me for this one. You know, give me a mulligan, and uh, man, if I get an opportunity, I'll go down to Pete's and take some pictures of this broken impeller on this water pump, which we're pretty confident we have at this point. I don't know if I'll do a part three video. You guys probably don't want to hear me talk again on this car. Maybe I'll take some digital photos and I'll uh, throw them on my Google Plus channel and uh so make sure you guys look for that look on on google plus for that and and again thank you very much you guys have a good night